Hello there, everybody. It was someone here coming back with an other very exciting After Effects story video. On this particular one, I'm gonna be speaking about how to sync audio with a specific animation or effect. As a lot of people are requesting this type of videos because sometimes you can find it really difficult and complicated to attach a specific keyframes with a specific audio. So just let's start talking and start our task. First, I'm gonna be creating a composition, name it tutorial or whatever. Go OK, and I have here a specific casual DJ track. I'm gonna insert it and let's just give it a little here. Now, uh, I'm gonna apply and show you how this works on a text, a actually animated text. It's pretty much the same uh, step to follow on each other uh, effects, like mm, animating a sh animating different shapes or applying uh, a waveform video, uh, I mean audio on uh, a, a solid or null or adjustment layer so uh, I'm not play this on time lapse because it doesn't have anything to do with our main task so let's go And here we are. Now we're gonna be starting our main step. So first you're gonna do is selecting your audio track, go right click and keyframe assistant and apply this convert audio to keyframes. You may notice that a new uh, layer that are holding uh, three sorts of effects has just popped up uh, what is this actually it's a file that are holding a huge amount uh, of keyframes uh, which every single one of them defining uh, information concerning the audio track value so uh, we're gonna open this uh, then a triangle icon, go to effects and both channels. This is very important. You may see this uh, stopwatch uh, like activated, it's colored with blue. That it means it's activated. So it's highly important that you not switch it off because then the effect wouldn't uh, be able to appear uh, but instead you need to hold alt button then press it with your mouse like that and you should see additional information that has uh, popped up just now uh, on the timeline you can see many keyframes and in an expression bear here go and delete it and type exactly what I'm typing here linear open brackets then value comma now we're gonna uh, insert few of values but this is not gonna be randomly we're gonna be using our keyframes so it seems complicated a little bit here so let's have a more simplified vision of it by enabling the graph tool Bam. Uh, you may not have 
the same exact look so just go here and enable auto select dra graph and disable any other uh, uh, tools that not uh, appear here to be enabled so auto select draft tool and get the zoom tool and have a little zoom in to for a better clear uh, view and here we go now we need to get a look uh, and choose a keyframe that we can mostly see uh, other keyframes with it on one line so as you recommended to choose a keyframe that has many other uh, keyframes aligned with it so for example this one here if I went uh, I mean left click it it's gonna tell me its value which is 11.157 if I went to another it's gonna give me a different uh, value so it is very important to choose uh, keyframes that, that are mostly looks similar to each other so I'm gonna choose 21 maybe it's gonna match bear 21 then add an other camera and now look for a low uh, keyframe value so this one here has four let's go and find another one which is aligned to it like this five so I'm not go and add four then another comma and here you're gonna add two more values but it depends on uh, the effect you're gonna apply and so I'm not just use a simple scale uh, changement animation so I'm gonna add 85 and 25 then close brackets and uh, just uh, as I said, uh, I'm gonna go and apply a scale effect. Uh, this is we have a problem here. You can see keyframes are like all in zero value. So I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be using this part of the video. Just let's remove it from our track and here we go now let's sync our scale changement animation to this uh, audio value go to text transform and scale hold, all, uh, hold the alt button and press the stopwatch here you go uh, press and hold this uh, rope icon and drag it over the slider and release your mouse pad you're gonna uh, see a popped up expression that tells you uh, basically that you have done well so let's just have a look to what we did Extraordinary. So as you have seen, it's moving with the sync. So if you didn't want it to move that much, it depends on the value you entered here. So I'm gonna add uh, wider this a little bit, like 53, and replay the track. As you can see, it's not the way. So uh, now this is the explanation part. What pretty much is happening here? Well, uh, it's uh, this expression uh, basically uh, tells uh, After Effect that whenever the, the graph value here reaches 
21 as maximum the text is gonna be scaled by 20 uh, I mean 85 percent and whenever the value reaches for in the, as a minimum value the effect uh, I mean the text would be scaled by 53 percent so this is actually general idea how this shared work so this is us our tutorial for today hope you guys enjoy it and find it useful please if you did so give us a subscribe and a like follow us on our uh, media zones and uh, if you have any suggestions on uh, future tutorials or if you had uh, some problems editing your own tutorial just put them in the comment below and uh, hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time so long